Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the nunchuckers, how to do a proper workout with them, how to properly use them, and by the end of this, you should have a better idea of how to use them. Now, I'm by no means a master of these things. That title belongs to somebody else, not me. I know how to use them, and I'm going to show you guys how to properly use them, and you can get a workout. Okay, now there are a lot of different types of nunchuckers that you can use. Now, the ones I'm using at the moment are wooden and the chain is quite long. I prefer to have a longer chain. It just gives you more reach. Um, I do also have this pair. It's a smaller chain, so it does feel different. You won't, you won't actually realize this until you start using them, that the chains do make a massive difference. This is, they're wooden as well. I thought it was metal. They're wooden, they're wooden. So these are wooden ones, you can use these. I've had these for a long time, but like I said, the chain is shorter. I like to use the long chain. The first pair of nunchuckles, nunchuckles, nunchuckies. The first pair of nunchucks that I like to use was the rubber, well, it's not rubber, it's more of a form. So you can see there, it's got a plastic inside to it. The outside layer is form. They're good for learners, for beginners. You can, that didn't hurt. No, because it's form, you see? So you'll probably find these on the internet. I got these, this was actually the first pair of nunchucks that I ever purchased. It was in Manchester, Chinatown. I can't remember the shop. It was a long time ago, a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, so yeah, this is the first pair that I ever had and it's not in bad condition actually. It did used to have a, a dragon on the side of it, but the dragon's gone. He's taking over me. I am the dragon now. So to begin, I like to start with just a basic side swing. What I mean by that is, imagine a windmill. Swing it around like a windmill, okay? You will get more comfortable with the nunchucks and you'll feel the, um, the wind, the wind, feels like the wind rushing past you and you'll, you'll feel really close but you will get used to it. You can then speed it up as comfortable as you can and then come to a nice stop. The next step up from this you want to do is swinging it across in a sort of figure of eight. It's important also to keep your other arm tucked in. You don't want to leave it out like this and catch yourself. It hurts, believe me. So what you want to do is keep it here, almost as if you're in a fighting stance, almost side on. You don't want to be too square on, slightly side on. So as you're doing this, keep your elbows tucked in and you can keep your hand up like this. Now in time, you're going to speed up. But first of all, you want to get used to the weight and the chain of the nunchucks, the momentum of it. What you can also do, what I can do in here is shift your weight from one side, bounce on your toes. You can even turn. Okay. Now what you can also do is change hands. So this is going to be your weaker hand, your lead hand in, um, in fighting, boxing, and so on. So this is going to be harder so just try doing this with your lead hand and it will be harder it'll feel strange but it's good to be versatile because with the nunchucks you're going to be swapping hands eventually so you need both hands for the nunchucks go as fast as you can get used to the weight get used to the feel of the nunchucks okay obviously you need to make sure you've got enough room when you're using the nunchucks. 
you don't you don't want to break anything because your wife and the kids will get in the way. Now, this the, the reason the chain on this is so long is because it did come off one day. I had these for a very long time and I was going for it. I was going for it. I was in the zone. I was swinging. I was windmilling and they come off. I was left with one handle. The other handle flew off into the living room and almost hit my wife's head. It didn't. It, went in, it almost went into the window as well. Luckily, nothing broke. Nobody broke. And it was okay. I got a good friend of mine to weld it back together and he made the chain even longer. So, the better now than the ever have been. And yeah, you need to make sure you've got a good working space and there's nobody around that can get hit. You know, kids are small, but boom, they're gone. Out cold. So you don't want to do that. You need to make sure you've got enough room to work with your crossovers. You're basically going to catch the nunchucks behind your arm here. It's going to go over your shoulder and you're going to catch it underneath. The way we drill that is here and we'll go like this. Catch. And then from here, you're going to swing to the opposite side and catch here. And then again, and again, and just keep repeating that. For this exercise, it may be better to stand square on. It is hard to begin with, and you do get into a rhythm. You do find a rhythm as you do this, and in time, you will get faster and faster. What does help is when you just do your figure of eight, windmill, and then go into it. Build up your momentum first, then go into your crossovers. Now what this exercise is really good for is your hand-eye coordination. Obviously, if you miscalculate it, you're going to miss, you're going to hit yourself, you're going to hurt yourself. That's not what you want. And the thing with nunchucks is they can be quite scary, especially when it's going fast because you feel like it's going to catch you, it's going to hurt you. You can't be too scared of the nunchucks. You need to have a respect for the nunchucks. And what I mean by that is it will hurt you if you lose concentration. So you need to have concentration at all times when you're doing it, but you need to be comfortable that you can pick it up. You can pick the speed up and not always think about hurting yourself. As I was going over my shoulder to catch it, I'm not going to catch it. I'm going to use the chain to roll over my arm and then roll back, just like so. So this takes practice also because sometimes you may miscalculate the size of the chain or the, the handles and you'll just catch yourself with the handle. Or you may go over too far and the chain will wrap all the way around your arm and catch at the top, catch your fingers. You don't want that. So you want to practice the, the bends, the rollovers, like so. You can do it this way, you can do it that way. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Once you've got that down, you can then do the same across your stomach. Now, it, it looks painful, but it's not. If you get the bending action, it's not painful. It just simply rolls around your stomach. So you go this way, you go that way. Using the chain to wrap around your stomach. Obviously speed it up in time as well. Remember your windmills, build up that momentum. So you can mix that all together now. So you've got your crossover, you've got your rollovers, you've got your windmills, you've got your figure of eight. One of the other exercises you can do, I like to call the helicopter. So the way we do that is instead of going a figure of eight this way, we're now doing it this way. 
So you're going to go over your head and then you're going to go below. Obviously, you need to be aware of the distance between the nunchucks here and your stomach and your head. The last thing you want is that. So be mindful of where the nunchucks are. Also, you can do this with your other hand. Remember, it's good to be versatile in both hands. The helicopter as well, that can be used as a strike. So you'd be over the top, underneath, like this. You can strike from either side. So the next thing I wanna go through is basically your stance, a pause, a finishing pause, if you will. So as you're doing your crossovers, you may want to finish like this, on like this, here. If you've caught the nunchucks here, and you are using it for an attack, what you can do from here, is you can basically come over the top. Or, you can grab it from the bottom, come from underneath. Now your opponent will not know which size it's coming from. Is it coming from over the top? Is it coming from underneath? You can also do the taunts, the feints, they will not know. The other thing I'm gonna go through, another attack is what I like to call a jab with the nunchucks. What you're basically going to do is you're going to hold the nunchucks like this and you're going to basically jerk it out so that the nunchuck comes away from the other handle, stops here, and then you're jerking it back. So it's this motion. Okay, this will take practice to get the, the weight, uh, the feel of the weight of the nunchuck, but it's basically in a faster motion. That, that's it. Pop, that's the jab. Obviously, when you are striking, when you are making contact with something, a, a punch bag or whatever, it's going to bounce back off. So the bounce off of the opponent or the bag is going to give the nunchucks another movement to think about. So as it's bounced off, it's here. Um, you want to be in control of the nunchucks at all times. But remember to use the momentum of the nunchucks to gain back your pause. So the next thing I want to go through is catches. So as I was saying before, when you are going over the top, this is a catch. You may want to catch it from behind. So from this position, it would be like this, or go underneath. Missed. Top, underneath. Top, underneath. You might not always catch it, but you can style it out in a way, you know? Miss, catch. Miss, catch. Across the shoulders. It can be a workout. So what I mean by this is when you're doing your crossovers, you could do this for a round, a couple of rounds of maybe one to two minutes, maybe three minutes, however long you want to go, depending on your fitness, and you're just going to drill the crossovers. So you're going to be doing this throughout the full round. If you mess up, it's okay. It's reset, carry on. Don't let it knock your confidence, just keep going. Now you may start to feel this, and that's good, because this is why it's a good workout for you. It's going to be good for your hand-eye coordination, it's going to be good for your shoulders, for your deltoids, for your arms, and basically just your concentration, your focus is really going to help that. I like to use these when I've got the time without the kids in the morning, so I'll finish my workout and I'll start using some nunchucks. Or maybe if I do a late workout, it's night, everybody's in bed, I've finished my workout, I'll then start using these. I used to use them a lot as a child. This is why I feel more comfortable with them now. But I did start on the practice nunchucks, which I do highly recommend you get. So, on that note, I'll see you next time.